Two inches probably by one and a half inch. Yeah, it's really tiny. So today's video is a collaboration with Harriet and she has a YouTube channel which I'm gonna leave the name here. Um, sorry Harriet, I can't actually pronounce the name of your studio. But anyway, today we're going to make a tiny sketchbook so this my one for Harriet as you can see it's it's really tiny teeny I wanted to make one as small as possible because I thought oh wouldn't it be fun to fill a tiny tiny sketchbook um, so I have filled this and I'm going to put some things in for Harriet and some so mindful prompts and some relaxing art activities for Harriet to do when she gets it and I hope she enjoys it and I hope you guys out there enjoy your video. I've just relieved, received a package today with Harriet's sketchbook in inside so I'll show you that at the end of the video. Stay true to the end to see um, to see Harriet's sketchbook and to see the process in full of how I create this little baby here. Thanks guys for watching today and again as always I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you, bye for now. Hi again, start by gathering your materials, different papers and that that's in the list as well as a metal ruler if you have it a craft knife if you have that and some masking tape so i started by measuring out each side of the tiny sketchbook and doing two lines so each so you have the bit in the middle and then the size of each page and then i didn't cut through the cardboard i just cut it sliced it so that you could bend the folds on where the book, where the pages start and end on the sketchbook. Then I measured out the individual pages. Now here I have some watercolour pages. I wanted to put in a mix of different types of papers so that um, if Har when Harriet received it, she could do whatever kind of art that she kind of wanted to and have fun with mixed media and different things like that. So I put in different types. Now for this sketchbook, I tore the edges rather than slice them. So that's what you're going to see here. And then once I had them cut, I folded them down the middle and reinforced the fold by pressing the knife down on top. And then I'm testing it there to see if it will fit in. It is a bit close to the edge, but um, I think I accepted it at that time anyhow. So I kept going until I was finished all of the pages. And at times I did test to see if all the pages will fit. So you should do that now as well. And you can see there, I've also cut up different types of paper so that there's a variety of paper in the sketchbook. The beauty of making your own sketchbooks is that you can put in different types of paper and play around with um, different papers and things. So that sometimes when you buy a sketchbook in a shop, it's all the same paper, which can be a little bit limiting. So it's nice if you, when you make your own sketchbooks that you can actually put in different colors of paper, different types of paper, so you can just do different things, whatever you want. And it's especially good for tiny sketchbooks because they're really something to play around with, have some fun, and just kind of dabble in when you get a chance.
here you see me putting in um, different types of paper. That blue paper is actually a piece of um, a scrap of wallpaper. So like I said, it's one, the wonderful thing about making your own sketchbooks is that you can put in different things. Because sometimes it is nice to kind of have different pages if you want to do collages or something. I don't always like to use my nice watercolours on stuff like collages because I'd rather just use a heavy duty paper or even use a wallpaper where I can stick things on top. So here you see me, I'm measuring out where to where to kind of sew the sketchbook together, the individual signets, I think they're called. So the individual signets will be sewn together and then put into the sketchbook. So beforehand, I make holes so that um, the needle, the sewing needle can easily go through the holes of the sketchbook. Now you don't need to have one of those things to do that. You can just do, use a normal sewing needle as well but I do find it, it, it is very helpful if you do have one. I don't exactly know what those things are called, but um, they do make sketchbook and time making sketchbooks very much a lot easier. So here I am I'm sewing them together. Now I am going to leave Harriet's video in the link, but I'm also going to leave a video on how to um, sew those as well because I, I don't think I've sewn really quite enough just yet to kind of um, be able to tell people how to sew a, a, a sketchbook together but it's it's not very difficult it's just that you kind of have to kind of know how it goes together so there I've sewn the little book for the inside and now I stuck a bit of masking tape to reinforce the back of the sketchbook where we've put the slits so there won't be a problem. And now I'm picking out fabrics to put on the cover of the sketchbook. So I've gone into my little fabric box and I'm pulling out a few different fabrics to see which one I'd like. So I've gone with the blue one. I love that color, it's so pretty. And I just kind of use my finger to apply the to put the um, glue on. I just find sometimes it's it's nearly more effective. Sometimes when you're using brushes, you end up doing more damage to the brush than actually getting glue on. So you have to be quite careful with this so that you can even see in that one, I went a little bit close to the corner. I think I even had to reapply it. So there now I left it to dry there. And now it's already all stuck together, but that I did apply the fabric and then I stuck the sketchbook inside. So now I'm sticking in activities and interesting things for Harriet because this sketchbook is designed as a mindfulness tiny sketchbook. So I want to leave mindful activities for Harriet to enjoy when she gets her sketchbook. For that's one there today I'm grateful for the other ones some of them I painted little pages so it's all about creating something that's interactive and interesting for Harriet when she gets the sketchbook I think this one is going to be a, a landscape paint my emotions today so there's lots of different ones and this on this one I'm I'm writing in like a list of prompt ideas that she might want to use in the sketchbook. And this one is paint my emotional landscape. So it's the idea of painting a safe space to your, for yourself in your sketchbook. So that is the sketchbook there. Here's Harriet's package. It was so wonderful to get a package in the post. And even more exciting when I saw all the lovely goodies inside. It's so, it was such a lovely parcel to receive. Thank you, Harriet. I really did love it so much. And uh, there's so much detail and love put into the package. So thank you, Harriet. She left a lovely note as well for me. So 
So the first one had a little pin on it. So that's really, it was really cute. And I think that's one of her own designs. So it's so pretty, isn't it gorgeous? And then I was even more excited when I opened the sketchbook and I saw how gorgeous it was. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? So pretty. And inside I was blown away with all the details and she painted in paintings and everything. So it was so beautiful. I'm so excited. I've already started putting work in it already, but I'm so excited to put more work into it after this video, put some time into it. And even a packet of um, papers and things that I might want to use. And yeah, it's a really a gorgeous, gorgeous sketchbook. It's a good bit bigger than the one I sent her, but it's gorgeous. It's so nice. Thank you so much, Harriet. So that is coming to the end of the, video, the voice part of the video and I will be talking now. Hi guys again. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed the video and I hope it inspires you to make... Well, like when I was making this little guy, I was thinking of making like a tiny mindful sketchbook because sometimes trying to engage in a full page of art can be a little bit too much or a bit intimidating. So when you have a page that's only like... Uh, like that two two inches by two inches more or less or a little bit bigger that it's not so intimidating because you know you can feel it properly in a couple of minutes and and I just thought it was a nice way to kind of get in to sketchbook in or have a nice little sketchbook practice without having to do anything that's overly intimidating well anyway guys that's the end of the video Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to watch Harriet's videos. The link is going to be below in the description and you will see how she created that lovely sketchbook she sent me. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm delighted. Thank you very much, Harriet, as well. And that's all for today. As always, please leave a comment below um, if you've ever attempted to make a tiny sketchbook and how you've got on with that or if you want to share anything that you think will will be of benefit to people here we'd love to hear from you and as always please like the video and support the channel by subscribing thanks very much again and have a really great day bye for now bye bye